beats. We dedicate your temple like the Macca beats. Like the Macca beats. Like the Macca beats. Like the Macca beats. Lenny and Chuck for you priests. Like the Macca beats. Like the Macca beats. Like the Macca beats. Lenny and Chuck for you priests. We are here to teach the so-called blacks and Hispanics who they are according to the Bible, why you are in the conditions that you're in, and how to get out of those conditions. That's right. So, sister, I'm going to ask you one quick question. We're in the ghettos. We're getting shot down the streets. Our people on drugs. Uh, they're single-parent households. I have a question. Why do you think those things exist with our people the most? And I, and I want to ask you the same question too, bro. Because you're a leader. You're a leader. I'm, I'm asking a question too. I want all y'all to answer. Can I ask the sister first? We're shot down the streets. We're in the ghettos. You know what I'm saying? Our people on drugs and single parent households. You know what I'm saying? Uh, about 80% of men in Atlanta are homosexual, which is out of order of God. Why do you think those things happen to our people the most? That's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. Got no what? No guidance. Okay. I was just going to say that. Like a man in the house, because I have two young ladies, they turn out to be wonderful young ladies, they got two trades under their belt, but my husband and I were there, we raised them up together. Okay. And I thank God they so, never had no problems. In, in the, but in a single parent household, that's, that's the statistics of them being uh, drunks or, or homosexual or effeminate, they increase, right? Like a guy. So who should be guiding us? Jesus Christ, for one, that should be the leader. Hosea 515. And you, and you better believe. So the point is, is this. Do you believe? It starts at home. So he's supposed to be leading us, right? Yes. That's him. That's Jesus. Jesus Christ. That's not Jesus Christ. Okay? No, I'm, I'm showing you. I'm, I'm pointing at a picture. I'm telling you that. I ask you, is he supposed to be leading us? Him leading us right here is the lead to the single parent households. I'm going to say that again. Following this image and this person right here, I didn't say following Jesus, but following this person right. is keeping our people on the bottom. Because right. this person right here ain't even Jesus. That's Caesar Borgia. Right. That's a so-called image of the beast according to the Bible. Right. The Bible says that Jesus Christ looks just like you. Right. So if I know Jesus Christ looks like me, I would not shoot my brother in the face because I know I see Christ in him. That's right. But if I say, oh, I think that the so-called white man, the cops that shoot us down the streets, they could come up and shoot up a whole church in South Carolina. But oh, I forgive them. Why? Because you think that's Jesus. Right. That's why. Give me Hosea 5, 15. Watch this right quick. Read. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. Read. I will go and return to my place. God says he's going to go and return to his place. God used to fight for us. God used to be able to get us out this situation right. and his son Jesus the Christ. But because we broke his commandments in the wilderness and to this day, he's going to do what? I will go and return to my place. God says he's going to turn his back on us. Why? Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until you realize that buying today on the seventh day of the Lord is sin according to the Bible. Right. Until our women realize that wearing pants and not wearing a dress is sin according to the Bible. Right. Until our men have to realize that you must love a woman and not a man, right. that's sin according to the Bible. Right. Until we realize those things and realize who we are and that we're held to a higher standard, we're going to continue to be on the bottom. Right. That's right. And continue to be on the bottom means you're going to continue to worship that image right there. That's so right. I asked you a question because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaker. You said that that was Jesus, right? No, I learned it. I just learned something new. You learned that that's not Jesus the Christ. According to the Bible, Jesus Christ had woolly hair just like that brother. And fully gray, just like the chin hairs of that brother. And skin, just like all of us. Give me give me whole, uh, Hebrews 7.14. So I want you to look at something right quick. You learned that Jesus Christ is not a white man. What people did Jesus Christ come from? Well, we was talking from Israel, the over in Israel, Israelites. Israelites, right? Yeah. So, Israelite. Was, was Christ a Jew? That's what I was taught. You was taught. Mm -hmm. Christ was a Jew. Jew is short for Judah. So, let's read in the Bible where Jesus Christ came from. Read. Okay. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Read. 
For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Jesus Christ came out of the lineage of Jesse, the lineage of David, the lineage of Solomon, all Judites. That's right. He came from the tribe of Judah. Now give me Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. So I made a statement. I said that you are Israelite. Jesus Christ is from the tribe of Judah. We proved it with the Bible. We said that he's not a so-called white man. Really, if you want to be honest, there's no such thing as a white man. Right. Have you ever seen somebody the color of this board? No. Meaning that they're not what? They're not, they're not, they call that boy. They're not white. In the dictionary, they say that white means pure. Name a pure thing that their people have done since they came on this earth. Name something pure and right that they've done. Nothing. Meaning that they're not even white. Meaning that they told you that they're white, they lied to you about what they are. And then when they told you that you were black, they lied about what you are. That's right. But we're going to read some of the Bible that says black so you can get the description of the Judites. Okay? And Christ. Read. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2 Judah mourning and the gates thereof language Judah is mourning the Israelites the so-called blacks in America are mourning today why because we get shot down the streets we have nobody in the households no guidance the gates their language means our protection how can we have a president how can we have a mayor in uh what's that what's that Camilla Georgia that has the power to fire the whole sheriff's department but he won't do it Right. And these are people. Bring it up. Because they're not following the laws of God. Right. They have no power just because somebody elected you into official right. to become that. Because you can say something and they can outvote you and it still goes what they want to, what they want to do. You understand that? Yes. Read what the Bible says. Read on. Judah mourning and negates their own language. Uh -huh. They are black. What is the Jews? They are black. Have you ever read this in church? Read it again. They are black out to the ground. Give me Genesis 2 and 7. They are black unto the ground. You understand that? Yeah. So when it says black unto the ground, let's get more understanding. What color is this ground? Gray it out. That ground looks gray, it's not black. What, no, this ground right here, right here, the dirt. That's brown. You know what I'm saying? The deeper you dig, it, it gets what? Darker. Dark. Okay. So right, right. if the Jews are so-called colored people, mm -hmm. what color was Adam? He had to be the same color. Let's see. Because it said God let us make, he, make him right. in our image. Right, yeah. In our image. Okay. When it says our, that means there was more than one person there. Read. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Come on. And the Lord God for a man of the dust of the ground. That's going to the same thing. They are black unto the ground. Okay? So, the color of the first man is black. The color of Jesus Christ is the derivative of brown. He said he came from Judah, Judah, and you're from the tribe of Judah. So it will behoove our people to one, know who you are to follow. If we continue to follow this man right here, we could continue to be on the bottom. But if we follow somebody that has all power, because Jesus Christ has all power, right? Yes, right. But we must follow the person that has all power that looks like us. That's right. That's the point. That's the point. The point is, if our men are, and women would look up to people in the Bible that look just like them, they wouldn't look up to Superman as their idol. That's right. right. They would look up to Flash as their idol. Right. They would look up to Spider-Man as their idol. They would look up at Solomon. Look up to Solomon. Right. She would look up to Judah. Uh, we would look up to Moses. That's right. Name the last time Superman split an ocean. Really? Superman ain't got that power. Got Name the last time Flash uh, destroy almost a whole nation with the jawbone of an ass. Right. Spider-Man don't have that type of power. Right. Spider-Man don't have that type of power, but the people in the Bible are your people. That's right. They are the real superheroes. Right. You understand that? But America has painted these individuals that look just like this man as the superheroes, but they're really the villains. That's right. They're really the villains. Like, you understand that? Lack of knowledge. Not lack of knowledge. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. Lack of knowledge. Not knowledge. Bring it up. So now, what can you do? What's your name? There you go. Ms. Johnson. Ms. Johnson. There you go. Ms. Johnson, what can you do you with go. the knowledge that you just learned? What can you do to change our people, the right. state of our people? Right. I'm trying to teach them the same that you were trying to teach me. Don't go by that anymore. Okay. Because that's not it. Okay. Now, give me Deuteronomy 20, uh, 22 and 5. That. Learned that today. I'm this image right here also told you come as you are. That's right. Yeah, sure. You heard is that a, is that a scripture in the Bible? Yeah. No, no it's not. No, no. But that's what they say. That's what they are. say. 
So, what does the Bible say for our women? Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because this image say, come as you are. But this image over there, Jesus Christ says what? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the woman should not wear something that pertains to men. What is something that our women are wearing today that pertain to men? Them droopy pants, for one. I can't it, stand. Okay, droopy pants. What about what else? It ain't got to be droopy pants. It can be tight, tight pants. Oh, yeah, yeah. That shows what? Their figure. Mm -hmm. That's made for their husband. Oh, yeah, yeah. You understand that? So, we don't. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So, young thugs shouldn't be wearing a dress. That's right. Read. But right. all that do so, if you choose to do what you want to do or come as you are and not listen to Jesus the Christ, read, are abomination unto the Lord thy God. God says if a woman wears pants and not put on a dress, you are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So with learning this, what are you going to do now? You're going to put on a dress. A that's, modest dress. Yeah, that's what I normally wear a dress, but it's cold today, but I, I like dresses. Okay, my oh, question wait. is this now. What are right. leggings? What are leggings? Are leggings pants? Well, they consider you might wear them because they come up legs. Okay. Did you know leggings is underwear? That's right. No, I didn't. Did you know leggings are supposed to be made for insulation? That's right. Up under your you dress. The ones that come right here, the legs. You know what you're Not stockings. Oh, you talking about the ones that come all way up? They come all way up that our young women wear as pants today. Oh yeah, on the top. So, I got you. Like the sister right here. No offense, but the sister has on leggings. Right. But according right, to right, right. Okay. Uh, common society, that's right. underwear. Okay. Right. So I have a question. Right. You said that right. you put on pants today because it's cold, correct? Yeah, I wear dresses. I don't like pants. I don't like jeans. I always want to. In dress. slavery, did our uh, mothers and daughters? Did they have a choice to put on pants or a dress? No, they had to wear them. Um, they wear it on dresses. Had to wear a dress, right? No pants on. Didn't they work sun up to sundown, right? Yes. Was it off during the Christmas season? Was it off during it was cold, or they had to work when it was cold? They had to work. Mm -hmm. So they had on a dress when it was cold, right? Yeah, we did, yeah. What makes you think you ain't just as strong as them? Yeah, I sure am. You understand that? Mm -hmm. That mindset of thinking is okay. You understand? Give me, give me Zephaniah one and eight first. Because the problem with the Christian church is they don't hold you accountable for the sins that you commit. Right. If I told you, hey, sister, if you eat pork, God gonna kill you tomorrow. You will not eat pork. No, I won't. You understand that? If I told you you won't get to the kingdom if you wear pants, you wouldn't wear pants. pants. But the Christian church don't tell you that. They tell you, come as you are. That's right. We all fall short of the glory of God. You can't fall short of something that you haven't even started. Because I'm right. in a Baptist church and we dress down sometimes. Dress and down, right? Dress and wear everything I need, you can dress down. Read this right quick. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. On. And it shall come to pass. And it's going to happen. This hasn't happened yet. Read. Mm -hmm. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice, uh -huh. that I will punish the princes. Jesus Christ is not coming to hold hands. He's coming to punish the enemies that have oppressed his people and his people that has not listened to him. Right. Read. Right. I will punish the princes and the king's children. We are princes that have power with God and you are a king's child. That's right. Read. And all such as are clothed. What? Clothed. What? Clothed. God cares about clothes? And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Strange apparel. Strange apparel. Women wearing tight pants or loose pants is strange apparel according to God. Right. right. Men wearing tight dresses or loose dresses or even these dresses I seen on Facebook that has basketball teams on it right. are strange apparel Bring to up. the Most High God. That's right. God says you're an abomination if you do that. Right. right. Meaning there's a punishment if you say, okay, oh, I'm cold today. No, sister, that's what leggings are for. That's right. Our women, tonight, I guarantee you, Saturday night is the night. They're going to go to the club, wear a dress, and it's cold, and they're not even going to care about it. Right. That's right. It don't matter then when you go to the club that you got a dress on and it's cold. Right. It doesn't matter then, but it matters when you go out in society. We have to stop making excuses right we have to stop making excuses that's right excuses equals death sister right 
Excuses equal our people stand on the bottom. Right. And most of our excuses uh, is a hindrance to change. Right. Our people must change according to the Bible. So you learned some things today because like you're ready to go. Yeah, I got to go. But I received and believed in Jesus' name. Now, I one more thing. Today. What is today? Saturday. What is Saturday according to the Bible? I know seven is the seventh day for God, but what what's I said it just a you know a weekend. It's okay, nine. okay, okay. If you look on your I calendar, know by Sunday now. If you what's on keep, Sunday? Keep that holy. No, no. Give me no, a six twenty in oh twenty in twenty. Be a six twenty. Say keep Sunday. Go to church on Sunday. Don't. What's the anyway. first day of the week? Monday. Look, somebody look up on their phone, on Google. Monday, the first day. Let's see what the first day of the week is. He's gonna look it up. Monday, He's gonna look at the first day of the week. Oh, you want me just look up first day? First of the day week? of the week. Yeah. Huh? What's the first day of the week, sister? She says Sunday is the first first day of the week. The Bible says two or more witnesses. Let's see. I, know, I was gonna show her the calendar, just a regular. Okay, calendar. show her the calendar. Let me show you just a regular. Calendar. Because in society, it tells you that Monday yeah. is the first day of the week, or it's the first day of the work week. Sunday. Monday. Sunday. So count, count with her. Sunday. One. Mm -hmm. Monday, two. two. Three, four, five, five six, seven. seven. All these years, and I've been working. Oh, Lord. So now, give me Exodus 20. Read this right quick, sis. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the seventh day. It's telling you now to remember it. Why? Because you just forgot it. Yeah. You forgot it. And what helped you forget is worse than that image. Right. It go all the way back to that. I'm, I'm bringing it all the way back to that. To the beginning. Yeah. Read. Uh, Remember yeah. the seventh day Read. to keep it holy. To keep that holy. Read. Six days. What? Six days. Meaning all those other days except the seventh day. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Including buying. Including cleaning. Including cooking hot foods. That's that work that it's talking about. Six days you got to do that stuff. But on the seventh day because your God rested. He's commanding you to rest. You understand that? Read on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It's the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So, my question is this. Now that you know that you're from the tribe of Judah, that Jesus Christ is from the tribe of Judah, and that you must keep the Sabbath, do you think that it was right to buy that today? Talking my chip. Yeah, today is Saturday. Give me oh, Nehemiah 1031. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Let's see if it's okay to buy on the Sabbath. Okay? Nehemiah 10, 31. We have to be retaught all over again. That's what it was talking about in John 3. Be reborn. Mm -hmm. Be like as a child. Yeah. It wasn't talking about going back into the womb again. It was talking about being retaught the Bible because you've been taught lies so long. Yeah. Read. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Huh? And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals, on a seventh day, if there's any businesses that's around, because look, the fact is, is that in America, you can get any kind of scene you want. Right. There's a store each corner, and guess what? I guarantee you it's open on Saturday. Right. If this world was conformed to God's laws, there wouldn't be nothing open on the Sabbath day for you even to even try to buy. Right. I hold my hand up, I got to go my daughter up. Okay, okay, while you're walking away, listen to this I right learned, quick. Learned, while you're walking away, I'm going to let you listen to this. Hey, we got a school here in Jacksonville, too. It's an address on the back. A number you can call. We have a website. Classes seven days a week, three times a day. Okay? Read on. And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So the Israelites are commanded to not buy on the Sabbath day. To not do any work on the Sabbath day. To not cook any hot foods on the Sabbath day. Give me that. It's a covenant forever with the children of Israel. The Sabbath. Because the fact is, is that, like I said earlier, this world is built off of sin. Why is it that if our people just one time did not celebrate Christmas, did not celebrate Christmas, this economy will crash? Why is that? Because the economy was built on sin itself. That's right, that's right. The economy was built off of sinful meats. Right. It was built off of sinful holidays. Right. It was built off of sinful lust. Right. But I could, our people continue to stay in those sins, therefore the economy continues. That's right. The economy continues. Read. Exodus chapter 31, verse 16. 
Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, uh -huh. to observe the Sabbath throughout their generation. So the Bible says the children of Israel are supposed to keep the Sabbath day right. throughout the generations. Meaning, your children are supposed to be taught this. Not Christmas. Right. Not Thanksgiving. Not, uh, what's another one? April Fool's Day. Easter. Easter actually comes from Ishtar. Also known as Diana. That's pagan worship. That's right. That's what our children are taught today. But God says the children of Israel are supposed to keep the Sabbath. Hey, brother. If I was to tell you that God looks just like you. That's crazy, man. Read. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For what? Forever. For what? Forever. So whether you're trying to hear it or not. God is telling you to keep the Sabbath forever. That's right. Meaning the Sabbath is still going to be kept in the kingdom. The laws of God are still going to be kept in the kingdom. Right. You're supposed to be keeping it or striving to keep it in this kingdom right now. That's right. In order to bring the kingdom to come. That's what we're supposed to be doing. But our people do not care. Our people rather set up businesses to give our people diabetes. Right. 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 They rather set up businesses and say we've been here for so long, but for so long you've been sitting for so long. Right, right. You drive a nice bed. Yeah, yeah. The fact is, is that our people rather do things to our people to exploit them so I can drive a Benz. Bring it out! While grandma is driving a Lincoln Town car that can barely start. Right. right. But she's still sewing her ties though. Hey brother, what would you say you are on the side right here? Come look at this side right quick. Because I know I'm not going to ask you if you got time, because I know you say you ain't got time, but on Sunday you're going to have time for Jesus. I'm sure you're going to have time then. Because mama going to make you get up out the church, get up out the bed, and worship this image. Where you see yourself on this side, bro? The reason why you don't see yourself on this side, give me Hosea 4 and 6. Hey, sister, you got a fly. Did you ever even look at, it, look at it for a second? So, on there, do you realize that God only chose a certain people. Do you know that? What people did he choose, since you know? I'm one. You one? Okay, all praises. According to what circumstance? You say Holy Ghost Spirit. I finish up sin. Jesus. So, so now, what are you saved from? Because you still pay taxes on that car. Yeah, but I'm saved from all my horrible sins and I done anything. You just bought on the Sabbath. You just sinned. Now what? Our people are destroyed, man. I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost Spirit. I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb. But now, but now, I'm, I'm about to buy on the Sabbath. Forgive me, Lord. Oh, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a cook a hot meal. Forgive me, Lord. We gotta choose not to sin willfully. That's the only thing. It's hey, if you didn't know, and then now you know. Okay, now you can change. But don't sit here like you sanctify Holy Ghost Spirit, and then run off when somebody tries to tell you, sister, brother, you gotta better yourself. Read Hosea chapter four, verse six. My people Read. are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. I'm going to give you an example of how we destroy it. Hey, brother, do our people still get shot down the street? I'm asking. Do our people still get shot down the street today? Okay. Now, do that happen on a regular basis? Sometimes that we don't know of. Sometimes it be in the news, right? So how can you be saved that that's still happening to you? Yeah. How, that, I'm saying, I'm listening. Spiritually, we're not saved either because the laws are spiritual. So right. if people not keeping the laws, you're not spiritually saved either. That's right. So I don't see in society, if we still get shot down the streets, and ain't nobody there to save us, you're not saved physically, and if you're not keeping the laws of God, you're not saved spiritually. That's right. right. So read the scripture again, Hosea 4 and 6. How are our people destroyed for a lack of knowledge? The knowledge of thinking that, they, that they're saved, but they're still in the Bible. Read. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. God says his people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Read. Because thou has rejected knowledge. They did what? Because thou has 
rejected knowledge. Our people walk up and down the street rejecting the knowledge of God, the right. laws of God. That's right. Read. I will also reject thee. No, he saved us right now. I will also reject thee. No, God said he fight for us right now. I will also reject thee. How in the world can you say that you saved, but the God that made everything says he's turned his back on you and he's rejected you because you broke his commands? That's right. That's how our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. I want to read the scripture to you right quick, bro, while you're walking away. Let's do it right quick, man. And come over here and look at the sign because it's your history. History repeats itself. That's right. We were getting hung. We were getting raped, robbed, murdered, burned at the stake, and no justice was happening back then. It's not happening now. Right. And guess what? It's going to keep getting worse until our people repent. That's right. Donald Trump is going to continue to turn up the heat until our people repent. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if you read the news. Donald Trump in a meeting, and we have multiple accounts by his officials, that he called the third world countries, or basically the countries that the Israelites are scattered in, as S-hole countries. That's right. Meaning crap hole countries. They don't give America nothing. So why should we help them? That's what he's saying about your people. But some of our people voted him into office. <laughs> Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.